Hello everybody, this is Splatterman Woman I'm back here with another review for Resident Evil. The very first one by Paul W.S. Anderson. It stars Mila Jovich, Michelle Rodriguez, Eric M Mabus, James Purfoy, Martin Cru Cruz, Colin Sa Salmon. So basically, before I get into the movie review, I'm just going to tell you my brief history with the, the Resident Evil game franchise. So I've played the original Resident Evil, played the original Resident Evil 2, the original Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, I've played a little bit of Code Veronica, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, uh, played just a tad bit of 7, and probably I need to revisit it or probably play it again anyways and then I also played the Resident Evil remake and the Resident Evil 2 remake and the Resident Evil 3 remake and pretty much every Resident Evil 4 remaster and the Resident Evil 5 um, basically like the updated graphics one and I haven't played 6 in a while but nobody really likes that one I don't really like it too much either so but basically the the year was 1999 when I was being watched by my cousin and he had a PlayStation 1 or PlayStation whatever you want to call it and he had Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 and he was really good at the games and I watched him beat it back to back and it really got me interested in it so I guess I'm going to start talking about the movie. Would I say that this movie, like, deserves as much hate as it gets? I mean, probably not. I mean, in my opinion, like, the Alice character, like, I really like Mila Jovich, and I really have nothing against her, but it's just in this movie, like, nobody from the games are in this, in this movie. And I'm like, what the hell? But, like, they have... The only thing they have in this movie is, like, the train and the liquor. And that's really all they have. And also, don't let me forget about the dogs, either. So, basically, what happens in the beginning of Resident Evil is, is that there's a scientist with the, the T-virus. And he ends up... He, he has this, like, control device and that has arms that pull out the, the T-virus and put it in a case and with the, the injector gun and basically he takes it just before he leaves and he throws it and then he basically just makes it to the tracks where the train is and then passes out and basically I guess like everybody has the T-virus even Alice uh, has it too and when she's in the shower she she passes out, and, like, the, this vent opens up, and it sprays in there, so, I mean, not gonna lie, she's pretty good looking, and I can't hold that against the movie, and I'm not really going new, so, and then, basically, a group of commandos, like, soldiers, sort of cops, whatever you, well, not, not really cops, but I'm sure you get my point, they show up, and they basically lo look like hunk from the, the video game from like Resident Evil 2 or Mercenaries in Resident Evil 4 and then basically that's what they look like they all take their their mask off and in the house Alice doesn't really know like she opens like this the shelf and there's like guns inside and I always thought that was like pretty interesting because she doesn't have a clue um, so basically the the, the team of commandos take Alice and some other guy that's like a cop that just got like they don't really have him in the system so like he, he has handcuffs on and they go down to the facility and they jump on the train and they end up going down to the hive which is controlled by that bitch queen nobody really wants to deal with her but anyways this is like laser hallway and like what is it three or four people go in it and luckily Alice didn't um and they go in there 
and they all die, and the last guy, like, thinks he's, he's gonna make it, and it does, like, this, like, X shape with the hallway going towards him, and cuts him open, and he, he dies, and then they eventually shut it off, and they shut the Red Queen off, but when they do that, then everything opens, because everybody down there in the hive has died, and then basically when they, they get down there, there's these, like, gigantic containers containing the liquors, but at the time they don't know that, so when they shut it off, everything gets unlocked, and it stops pumping blood into the liquors, and then, like, every door starts opening up, and then zombies, like, start coming, and they open an elevator, this guy just gets mauled by a zombie and eaten alive, and to me, what's always bothered me about the movie, like, people aren't smart enough to just shoot him in the head, you know, like, if, if somebody can take a shot to the knee and, like, still walk, or take a shot to the chest or the the arm and they're still walking, why wouldn't you just shoot them in the head? And they're sitting there wasting all their ammo, just going right down the drain, and pretty soon they're going to, like, run out. And then basically after that, like, people start getting bitten, and then they get infected, and the Red Queen won't let them get out, so they got to take, like, this hatch that's underground or whatever, like, deeper into it, and they're going down there, and then they get hoarded by zombies. And then they got to jump up on top of these pipes uh, to stay away from the zombies. And, like, the more blood and the bigger the wound means the faster they do it. But they're sitting there taping up their, their hand. So, I mean, that's good that they're doing that. But if they get infected, like, they'd either have to chop it off or eventually they're just going to turn into a zombie. So, then the one guy only has, like, one bullet left and he just says, fuck it and shoots a guy and has no ammo, so he was pretty much fucked, and uh, then they have to eventually get back on the train, but before they do that, they end up seeing on the, the camera that um, the one other main bad guy is what happens, there's like a plot twist in the middle of it, is that Alice and basically I guess like her husband or somebody that like she she didn't know because she was having like sort of like flashbacks and shit and basically the other guy ends up running to the the train and by the time he gets to the train this this liquor like bursts out of this big cage and fucking like goes and like attacks this guy and basically I guess like he turns almost into a crimson head from like the Resident Evil like the the remake of Resident Evil anyways but I mean maybe it's just like a <laughs> so I mean you could almost call it an enhanced zombie but anyways like the the liquor like n gnaws down on him a little bit and then grows a little bit bigger and then they eventually come after Alice and they're trapped in this one room and it keeps trying to break the glass and then the Red Queen pops up on the TV and Mila Jovich has to decide if she's going to take the axe and kill Michelle Rodriguez in the movie but she ends up not doing that and then breaks the, the TV or the monitor as anybody wants to call it and then basically they open the door and they they get out of there. Um, so Alice eventually then uh, her and Michelle Rodriguez and they get back to the train and they're gonna start it up and fucking like they're, they're starting it up and then Michelle Rodriguez like kind of just like falls down and she t ends up <laughs> like f faking turning into a zombie but then she eventually does and then she gets shot and the liquor is still after them and then Alice ends up taking the, the metal pole and shoving it right in the liquor's neck and he gets dragged across the train and just gets annihilated by the 
like the train tracks and eventually turns on fire so I thought that was pretty cool and I, I do like the train and then Alice is the only one left and she has the case with her and she runs up the stairs and the timer's about to run out and she goes through the door and then Alice uh, gets the, through the door so you know she made it out but then all of a sudden I mean it, it's not that it's like the movie's being sequel beta sort of which there are a lot of sequels and we'll definitely get to them no matter what and she basically wakes up on this hospital bed thing and has to like go and put like a robe on or some shit like one of those doctor things um well whatever they wear you, you get my point but anyways then they uh, she goes out and grabs a shotgun from one of the police cars and and it basically, like, that's the end of the movie, waiting for the, the sequel, anyways. So, to be honest, I don't I don't think the movie's all that bad. Now, there are, like, effects, that, like, CGI, like, I like the practical, because, like, there are some shots where, like, liquor, especially, is, like, some of it looks practical. And then, like, there are some, like, pretty bad CGI shots, and... Other than that, like, the zombies look good, and the dogs look pretty fucking chewed up in my book, and, uh, that, that's good, in my opinion, but I think I'm gonna give the, the movie a 5 out of 10, not trying to shit on the movie, it's okay, but it's not as bad as everybody says it is, and I would recommend watching it if you're a fan of the games, but that's my opinion, so... Look forward to all the Resident Evils, and if not, have a good day.